we're working on our uh, card game Java program. And uh, we were working on the deck, and we got to the part where we we're able to create our deck of cards. What we're going to do is we're going to now shuffle those because obviously when you break open a deck, you got to shuffle before you can play. So in the shuffle algorithm, we're going to use what's called the Fisher Yates algorithm. And in a nutshell, we're going to loop from the end of the deck to the beginning of the deck. And each time, we're going to take the last card and pick a random card between the first and that last card. We're going to pull it out and swap it. And then once we swap it, the next loop, we're going to go, we're not going to, we're going to leave that last card alone because it's already been randomized. And then we're going to work our way from that last card to the beginning card. And for that, we're going to use a for loop, but we're going to need to have some random. So the first thing we want to do is import uh, Java random. Oh, I think it's just java.util. Did I do that right? Uh, no, I didn't do that right. There it is. Okay. So, in our class, outside of our populate method, we're going to create a random number generator. So that's part of the random class. We type random with a capital R. We use rand equals new random. And we construct our random number generator. Okay, and now we're going to set up our uh, next method. It is public, which doesn't return a value, so we give it void, and it's shuffle. It does not require any parameters. It is a parameterless constructor. Because we already have all our cards, we just need to shuffle them. Now, in order to do this, like I said, we're going to loop, but we're going to loop backwards. So we're going to use a standard uh, for loop. We are traditional, where we initialize, we figure out the comparison, and we decide what we do with the variable. And so we start by declaring the variable. We'll call it i. And then I'm going to say i is greater than 0, because we're going to work our way backwards. And then it's i plus plus. Now, um, I forgot. We never set the value of i, so we have to set it. In order to set it, we're going to set it to be the size or the length of our cards. Because our card's a Java array list, we're going to set it to um, cards.size. All right, cards.size returns the number of cards. However, we always index starting at zero, so we're going to take one away. Because if we have 52 cards in our deck, Okay, the 52nd card actually has an index position of 51 because our first card has an index of zero. So we must subtract that. So I begins being the last index position, and in the end it will be, uh, actually when it gets to one, we'll do a last swap and be done with it. So that is our for loop. Oh, sorry, not minus, minus. My, I'm sorry, not plus, plus, minus, minus. I get so used to that. And already, I had two students already figuring out. They had this look like, uh, what are you doing there? All right. So anyway, so there's our for loop, OK? So now the idea here is we're going to swap a random card between the beginning, beginning, and end. Uh, oh, and. Last card of the loop, okay. And and I, I know it's not poor, it's a little poorly written, but it just will. What will happen is it'll be the last card, and then it'll be second to last card, and third to last card, because I keeps going down in number. So every time we make a switch, the last card stays permanently there. Okay. So now what we have to do is we have to set it. Now I'm actually going to do this in a slightly more complex way. I'm going to do it in five steps, but you can do this in three lines of code. And so I'm actually going to leave that open and see let see if you can figure it out. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to create uh, some cards. Oh, wait, wait, wait. we got to pick a random pick, right? So we're going to create a variable, and it's an integer. And we're going to call it pick equals rand dot, and it's next int. 
And in it, sorry, we're going to pick between 0 and I. Okay? So that's between 0 and the last card. So it's going to pick one of the random cards. And then using that random pick, first of all, we should, I want you to point out that, uh, or I want to point out that pick is the random card. I actually represents the last card. So we have those two variables we can use. From there, what we want to do, and like I said, this is the extended version, the non-refined version. So I know someone's going to be watching this going, well, I can do it in less lines of code. That's true. I want to just break it out a little bit here. So we're going to call one random card. And we're going to do, uh, we're going to set the random card, of course, to cards index position. Uh, sorry, cards. I keep forgetting we need to use what's called, uh, we need to use a method for our array list. So if we want to pick a random card, we're going to use the get method because the get method returns the element at that position in the list. So we want to get the card from a random position in our list. So it's get and it's pick. So our random card is cards.getPick. Okay? Do the same thing for the last card. That's the last card of the loop, mind you. And that's also cards.get. And this time we just pass it I. So now we have two cards. Now th what I did is I put them each in variables because we're, we're, we're wanting to find out what the card is and we don't want to just pull it out of our list right away. Because if we pull it out of the list, then um, it messes up our order. And so this, we're just kind of copying it. So now what we want to do is we want to we want to reset our our deck. So cards dot get gets a card, and we have different options. We could add a card, or we could. Anyone want to guess what it is? It's set. So if we use set, we can choose the index position of where we want to put it and what card we want to place in there. And if you look really closely, there's an interesting aspect of this set method because it actually does two things. Number one, it puts a card in a slot, but it also returns that card. So if you understand the fact that set actually sends a card out at the same time as it puts one in, you can take advantage of that, and that's how you would actually reduce the number of lines of code. Okay. So anyway... So we're just going to go ahead and do the full version, which is set. And so now what we're going to do is we're going to put the random card at the end, and we're going to put the last card in the random slot. So it's, sorry. So the end position is I, and then we are setting the random card there because we're putting the random card at the end. And then we're going to set it again. This time, we're going to put the last card where the random card was. So, three, uh, five lines of code, this can be condensed into three lines of code. So that's going to be my challenge to you. Can you actually condense this line of code and still have it work properly? But before we do that, we probably should test to make sure this is working correctly. So let's go. I'm going to open up the game class, and I'm going to move it to the right. Sorry, folks. And apologies, apologies. So there's our deck. There's our shuffle loop. And oh my goodness, our class is all a mess. Our game deck, or our game class. I'm going to delete some of this code here, folks. Sorry. And I'm going to move that over a little bit so you can still see the shuffle algorithm. And so what we're doing here is we created a deck. We populated it. Um, and then we put deck has the following cards, d1.showHand. And then I want you, if you haven't done this yet, to type d1.shuffle. And that's going to call up the shuffle algorithm. And let me just demonstrate. When you put d1 and you have a deck, you put a dot, and you start typing shuffle, you will see shuffle. Okay? So that shuffles the deck. And then we have a system.outprint line. And on this print line, it's going to say, and here, I'm just going to expand it now. 
So in the end, deck has now, I'm going to put a little line return here, line return there. I'm going to tab it over just a little bit so you can see. Okay. So technically speaking, there is your system.out print line. Deck has the following cards, d1.showhand. And then we shuffle, and then we show hand again. I'm going to run it, show you the output. And of course, you can pause the video to look at the code or go back. And first of all, you can tell that these are all shuffled. See that? You can tell before they were sorted, right? It begins with hearts, then it goes to spades, then diamonds, then clubs. And now it's just all over the board. Three of clubs, ten of diamonds, king of spades, king of diamonds, jack of diamonds, etc. Okay, now it's sorted. I'm going to give you a challenge. I'm going to give you two challenges. I'd like to see if you guys could do this. Okay. Number one, when we shuffle. Okay. Like I said, we can condense this into three lines of code. So I'm going to put on here a comment, which is challenge. I'll put it as a multi-line comment. So your job is to try to condense it to three lines of code. That's our first challenge. Challenge number two, equally challenging, or more or less, depends on your understanding, what you think. Challenge option B. By the way, that was option A, so I better just put that up here. These are all optional, okay? Challenge option B, though, is can you cut the deck? Okay? How do you cut the deck? Well, when you cut the deck, you just, you just randomly grab half of the cards. But it's not half of it. You just grab a piece off the top, you drop it on the bottom, take the bottom part, put it on the top. So... To cut the deck, you want to split the deck somewhat randomly. And then you want to take the top half, swap it with the bottom half. Of course, the key here, and I'm going to do it in the shuffle method so it doesn't yell at me. I'm going to put cards dot. Here's some things that we have that you might think are interesting. We have add all collection extends card. Add all int. Uh, so there's two different versions of add all. Might that be the one you have? How about, um, where did I see it? You might want to look at it and see what you have there. We have remove, remove all, retain. Sublist, int from index, int to index. There, I think, is your main hint there. Sublist. Trim to size. Okay. We've got add, trim to size. We've got a lot of different ones here. You should have everything you need in your array list methods to do that task. Good luck with it. If you're watching as a video, go ahead and post your answer and see if you get it. First post, I'll give a shout out, I guess. I don't know what else. I'm not going to give you any money or anything. I'm a poor teacher. Come on, cut me some slack. All right, but anyway, I'll leave you with the code of shuffle. That is the Fisher Yates algorithm in slightly, um, slightly inefficient list there. There you have it.